okay so in this voice note i'm going to help you understand the risk analysis uh, notes handwritten notes okay so in the first page i first given you a format in that format uh, first we have x so x is the cash flow that we have every year so you have to write the cash flow of every year there second is the probability the probability that this cash flow can happen every year so those probability you will write in the second column in the third column what we do is we multiply the cash flow with the probability that is xp so when we multiply the cash flow with the probability we get the expected cash flow that you know this is the cash flow and this is the probability that uh, that this cash flow can happen so you will get your expected cash flow in the fourth column uh, what we do is in the third column we do the total of expected cash flow by which we get uh, i'll call it an x dash okay the x it has a you know a sleeping line on uh, top of it a horizontal line on top of it so i'll call it x dash okay so we get x dash as the total of expected cash flow so now what we need to do is in the fourth column we need to uh, you know uh, do x minus x dash so x will come from the first column and x dash will come from the uh, third column total then in the fifth column we do the square of x minus x dash and in the sixth column we do x minus x, uh, x dash square into the probability okay so this is how you have to prepare the format now uh, what uh, now uh, what you can uh, do is that here i have written so in the sixth column what you have found out you know x minus x dash uh, square into probability that will be known as your variance okay then in the question they may tell you to find out standard deviation so standard deviation will be root of variance okay then they may also tell you to find out coefficient of variation so it will be standard deviation by mean uh, or uh, i can also say uh, standard deviation by x dash okay so you will find out that in what and then sometimes in question what might happen is that npv might be asked they will tell you to find out net present value if in case in the question uh, npv asked what you have to do is you have to take the x dash as your uh, c fat okay uh, as your c fat means cash and flow i mean cash flow okay so you have to take it as your cash flow and what you have to do is uh, this will be like your cash inflow which is coming so what you will do is that whatever cash flow you have multiply it with the discount rate of first year okay and uh, if you do that discount rate of first year so in the first year uh, uh, you will get your uh, that cash inflow okay so cash inflow minus present value of cash outflow you do you will get your NPV. So that is the first page. In the second page, I have thought how, how to do sensitivity analysis. So what is sensitivity, sensitivity analysis? That is actually V, okay? Yes. So here what will happen is that there are a few factors which will affect the NPV, okay? That means uh, uh, your project cost, your cash inflow, your cash outflow, your cost of capital. So these are a few factors that can affect your net present value. So what we will do in this scenario is first we will, they will give an ideal case ideal case means a normal case so for that normal case we will first find out an npv and then in the question they will tell you that uh, in the second uh, normal case you can find out the npv and uh, that we will call as npv in present situation after that what they will do is that they will give you two to three scenarios where they will change one or two uh, you know one or two factors okay one or two factors they will change so in case in the question what they have did is uh, when they were telling you the normal situation they told your project cost was 10 lakh then they told uh, find out NPV when your project cost increases to 11 lakh. So if they tell like that, then you have to again change your project cost uh, and find out your, uh, uh, you know, NPV when your project cost has increased. So like that one one factor they will change and give you. So for the each change in factor, you have to find out uh, different different NPVs that according to each case. Okay. So here what they tell is the more adverse the impact is, that is the more negative impact you have on uh, NPV, it is more sensitive. Okay. Like how if your project cost is increasing, that is a negative thing. If your cash flow inflow, what is coming in is decreasing, that is a negative thing. Same way if your cost of capital is increasing, that is a negative thing okay so factors like that so these and all will have adverse effect so here i have given you steps how you have to find out that first find out npv for present situation then find out npv for different scenarios they have given but only one factor at a time you have to change Either only one factor at a time means if project project cost they have told increased by 11 like then only change the project cost and find out the whole npv like that for each change in factor find out different different npvs and finally third step what you have to do is find out the percentage change in npv so what is percentage change in NPV in each case is that uh, from the present situation, 
how is the situation okay present situation was where the project cost was 10 lakh now uh, the situation second situation you have found out is project cost is 11 lakh so in between both there might be a npv difference okay so both npv will be different only so what you have to do is you have to find out the change uh, percentage change in npv how you have to find out percentage change in npv i have given you the formula so like that for each uh, case where the factors have been changed for all those cases you have to also find out percentage change in npv so find that out and here in whichever the npg N npv change is the most or wherever the npv uh, you know percentage has decreased a lot in that case that would be the most sensitive one that is a sensitivity sensitivity analysis the next is scenario analysis in scenario analysis there is no rule like one factor only you have to change at a time so in the question if they tell you two two factors you have to change then all change all the two two three factors at a time itself and find out a new npv okay fine that is scenario analysis easy then is uh, next you have is certainty equivalent okay in certainty uh, equivalent uh, what you have to do is that i have given you the format so first you have to write year year 1 2 3 4 then you have to write the expected cash flow that is given in the question that this cash flow is expected to come okay so all those cash flow you have to write and the second one is uh, certainty equivalent uh, coefficient okay so in the question they will give you for each cash flow what is the certainty that this cash flow can expected cash flow can come inside the firm what is the certainty so those certainty equivalents you can write then next you have to multiply the expected cash flow and certainty equivalent and find out your certain cash flow that this much from expected cash flow this much is the certain cash flow if expected cash flow is 1 lakh and we have a certainty uh, coefficient of suppose 70%. That means that from expected cash flow of 1 lakh, 70 percentage is confirmed. So 70 percent means 70,000 will be your certain cash flow. So you have to multiply those and find out. And finally using the certain cash flows in the question they will also give you something known as discount rate or risk free rate. Here they won't give you the name as discount rate rather they will tell you risk free rate. So take, uh, assume that your risk free rate is your discount rate and multiply your certain cash flow and uh, discount rate how you do, you know, years and uh, year and the percentage you take, no, so do that and find out your NPV. So this is certainty equivalent. And finally, you have risk adjusted rate. So in risk adjusted rate, uh, they have told you how you have to find out disc, uh, risk adjusted discount rate. So this is also kind of discount rate only. How risk free rate was a discount rate in certainty equivalent. Same way risk adjusted discount rate is also kind of discount rate. How you find out risk adjusted discount rate? Risk adjusted discount rate is risk free rate plus risk premium so you have to add these both so you can find out risk adjusted discount rate so here in this kind of question where they have given you a mention about risk adjusted discount rate uh, the same way in how in certainty equivalent instead of discount rate uh, you took risk free rate and uh, you know found uh, found out your discount rate and found out the npv the same way here instead of discount rate take risk adjusted discount rate okay don't take the normal discount rate rather take the risk adjusted discount rate and find out your npv Okay, so this was uh, about uh, the risk analysis and uh, I hope uh, it would be, you know, easier for you to now understand the notes.